Hi, I'm Doug Sassman. I'm going to be cutting down a curved windshield uh, for a chop top car. Um, if you've seen the other videos, we've we've taken and cut down a, a pretty tight curve on a small piece of glass. That's the back glass of a, a 51 Pontiac laminated. Here is one half of the windshields. You can see that the curve is not as tight, so this one is not as demanding. Um, however, it's new glass and um, it does have a curve. Um, I say new glass because uh, this is a reproduction. The older glass, when you go like that, there's more of a thud than a click. Um, the older glass had uh, more uh, lead content in it. It was softer. Uh, the laminated uh, piece of plastic in between was a little thicker and a little softer. It was uh, easier to handle uh, than the newer stuff. So you really got to watch um, if you're if you're chop top in the new stuff. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the pressure off of this cut by taking this corner off. It's kind of a compound curve. It's kind of a cup. And when you've got one piece over the, over the other piece, if you can take that piece off, it relieves a lot of that pressure in that corner so that when we come down here with this line, we don't have that to contend with. So what we're going to do is we always cut the outside piece first because of the way that um, the, these things break in, the, in physics. We're going to stay away from our primary line just a little bit by about an inch. We're just going to run our cut right across this corner. Um, we're using a little bit of oil on our, on our cutter. That's very important. It makes it cut so much easier. And then we're just going to open our cut. We're going to push back against and, uh, and open that cut up. And we've got our line right there that, that opened very nicely. We're going to flip it over. We're going to stay right on top of that the best we can because when you cut that plastic in the middle here in a second, the closer you are to being on top of that, the easier that's going to be for you. Okay, we're going to open that up. You should be able to hear it click. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we're going to wiggle it a little bit to make sure the primary, the first cut went through and the second cut went through because if you don't really make sure on a compound cut like that, sometimes it will go most of the way through the glass, the, the run will, but not all the way, and then it'll try to split on you and it'll run into your piece you're trying to save. So we've got them both, we've wiggled it, we're going to warm that up just a little bit. We're going to warm up our piece that is coming off. We don't want a bunch of heat into our piece we're trying to work with, just the one coming off. We want to warm that up just a little bit to make that plastic a little more pliable. And then I use a piece of broken tape measure because they're very thin and they're very sharp on the corners. Now you want to open that up, stick your piece in there, and then just cut your laminated uh, piece of plastic right out of the uh, center there. You can see two pieces of glass and a piece of uh, plastic in between them. So we've got that out of the way. We don't have any heat in this piece. If you've got heat in there um, and you run it, it will try to run ahead of you, which is not what you want. Um, because this isn't as curved as our uh, back glasses, we don't have to take as much off. Um, if you watched the previous video, we took two different pieces off before we got to our primary cut. This thing here I think is going to go well. We're just going to take about half of that. Oh, we've got to cut our outside first. On the curved pieces that are you know, the different models of cars that are even more, you have to lay paper towels and, and bed them correctly so that you don't have a bunch of stress on them. But this one isn't going to be, knock on wood, too bad. So I'm cutting that just about in half. Don't lift your cutter because you want that cut to be very uniform all the way through so that when you start to run it, it has no confusion where to go. You want to just push on it with your thumbs while you pull back with your fingers and you want to stay behind your run get ahead of your run, it may run into your piece. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So we'll flip her over here, nice and bright out so you can see your previous cut. Again, dip your cutter in a little bit of motor oil. Get on top of your line. Take your time. Play classical music if you need to. Don't do it in a busy shop if you can help it because if you can concentrate and stay focused on where you are, it goes dramatically easier. Okay, so we've got our cut there. 
we're going to just push and open it. You can kind of hear it click and it's running. Run it right on through there. There we go. Click. Very nice. Well, isn't this a welcome surprise? Hey, working? Yeah. Um, my dad just walked in the room. He started in 1959 in the glass business and taught me everything I know. He can make me look like an amateur. Okay, so we're going to warm this up just a little bit. We're going to get our piece that's coming off warm. We're not going to try to put any heat into the one we want to save. We want to just warm it up just enough to make that plastic nice and pliable. There we go. We're going to open it up a little bit with our fingers. If you got it so hot you can't hang on to it, you got it way too hot. Just warm it up. Okay, you want to open it up. You want to open up both sides. You got a curve here, so you're going to have to just be patient. Work with. It. I don't think I got it warm enough. Maybe I did. Yeah. Just be patient, a little bit at a time. On a piece of flat, it doesn't have that compound curve that it has to open up the curves at the ends first. It'll, it'll open up all the way down the line for you. If you get in a hurry, you'll chip it. And you don't want to do that, so you want to just take it nice and easy. Am I doing anything wrong? Me. You're gonna do the next one for me? No. <laughs> Why not? Nice and easy. We're just about there. There we go. Alrighty. So that's our first cut off of there to relieve some of the pressure of that curve. So we still got a nice black line that the uh, body man made us. Flip her over here so you can see it. We'll take our cutter, we're going to dip it in oil again. We're going to stay just on the inside of our black line and roll right down there just nice and steady. You can go really slow. Just whatever works for you, just don't lift your cutter because then you got to get just exactly where you were or when you start running that cut again it will take off in whatever direction it wants to go. Now I did not cut around this curve because I don't want that much pressure on a compound curve when I'm taking it off like that, so I just went right out the edge. Let's tip it up, put a finger on it, you can hear it when it starts, just stay behind your cut. All the way to the end if you can get it. We're past our pattern and there we go. So we got that one. We're going to flip her over. I like to leave my black line on there so that I can tell where my, my first cut is. We're going to start right in the same spot going the other direction. Again, don't lift your cutter. Nice and slow. No distractions. If you push too hard it'll flake and it won't want to run down your cut. If you push too soft it'll skip. You just got to get it just about right. And we want to open our cut, you'll hear it. There it goes. And you'll hear it at the end. Okay, then you want to wiggle it a little bit to make sure it went both ways. And then you want to open your cut. When it's curved like this, you want to open it this way so that your ends will open first and it'll peel off of there. Otherwise, if you turn it the other way, it has to open in the center and there's too much pressure on it. So we want to warm it up. This time you can put just a little bit of heat in your primary piece. Your goal is to soften up that plastic just a little bit. That should be just about right. You want to be able to hang on to it. You don't want it so hot you can't that one and then we're going to come over here and do this one a little and work our way to the middle there we go 
not too bad. You can see there's a piece of that plastic. Okay. Now we're going to take that corner where it rounds into the car body right there. We're going to take it off. Again, we want to cut the outside of the curve first, staying on the inside of our black line. You don't have to be, you don't want to cut too much off there because you can always take it off with your nice wet sander. That's a pretty small piece, don't have a lot of leverage. I might be able to get it to go by hand. Maybe. Oh, it's, it wants to. We'll help it a little bit with the pliers, get a little more leverage. There's one. Okay, we got her. Now we're going to turn it around. We're going to cut our inside cut. Just following the same curve, stay on top of it if, if you can, because that really makes it easier when you take your laminated uh, plastic to task with your cutter. Okay, we got her. Wiggle it a little bit. Sometimes those will try to run off on you. This one didn't. If it does, get behind and pull and try to get your get your run to come back out. I've had it where those little corners will try to run in. If you get back here and you pull, 